everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley, for those of you who are new here, for those of you who are returning, thank you so much for being here today. Um, so just a little quick introduction. Um, I am a single mama to two. I have one that is due Christmas. Yeah, Christmas Eve. Um, so that's pretty much what my channel is, is just kind of going through you know, just some of the different setups and situations that we go through. Um, I haven't been posting for a while because I've kind of been trying to get my life together, but I mean, who really honestly has their entire life together? So, um, I will be posting a lot more from here on out. I do have some videos that were recorded like way back and I just never got around to editing or uploading them. So I'm probably going to end up editing them this week and then they'll be out um, within the next couple of weeks or so. But anyways, beyond all that, today we're doing a grocery haul from Aldi. Um, I did have an Instacart delivery that kind of went, it went how it went. <laughs> but um, there is a quick little fill-in haul for what was missing from the Aldi haul right after I finished the Aldi haul. But today's video is part of a grocery haul collab hosted by Tamara from Southern Wife Everyday Life and Kat from Southern Farm and Kitchen. So there will be a link to the entire playlist. You can check out everybody's video, including Tamara's and Kat's and then whoever else um, decided to participate. The link will be in my description box. Please make sure to check everybody out. Give everybody a thumbs up and a subscribe if you're not already subscribed. So let's get into today's grocery haul. Okay guys, so this is everything that Aldi brought um, after putting it out and everything just being very honest I'm like halfway upset because there's a lot in here stop there's a lot in here that either is completely wrong is damaged is whatever honestly like I'm like really fed up with Instacart this is like the third delivery where things have just gone haywire if I was back home with my car, I wouldn't mind going, but I'm here in New York City and that's very hard for me because I can't drive out here. It's wild, but I'm just going to go through what we got. Um, so I'm going to start over here. We got these cheese puffs for the kids to snack on. Um, I got these mini pretzels mostly for Zuri because she's been like on a pretzel binge lately and I kind of just let her. Um, over here I have tortilla chips and some little tortillas so I'm gonna make some chicken tacos this week and then whatever meat is left over we're going to make some nachos later on in the week over here we have some bread I literally don't know what this is so this I think will be thrown out and I will be getting bread from another store I've never seen this on this bread so I don't know if that's flour, if that's mold, but if it is flour, it's like an excess amount of flour. Like it's not even like just a dusting. It's bad. It's caked up. So that's going to go probably in the garbage. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to get a new one from another store. I got two things of eggs because I'm actually doing a quiche this week for dinner as well as we need eggs for breakfast. So I got two of those. <clears throat> I got a box of yellow cake mix because you know my pregnant self has been craving cake. So for no apparent reason, we're just gonna make a cake. Um, I got these French toast bites. I got some grape tomatoes for salad, some brown gravy mix, and some taco seasoning mix for the chicken tacos. I got these mini naans because we're going to do some pizzas with them with these turkey pepperonis. I got some, oh, this is totally wrong, with tomatillo salsa, ew. Um, well, I got some guacamole, I guess. It's not the one I ordered, but it's guacamole, we'll use it. Um, I got some celery and some carrots for our Mississippi pot roast. I got some minced garlic some of this kicked up chicken seasoning i see a lot of people use this and i really wanted to try it so i got it from aldi because it's just cheaper versus going to walmart i got some of these cinnamon donut sticks this is for the kids for one breakfast they'll really like enjoy that 
I got some crescent rolls, some seasoned salt. I didn't realize how big the seasoned salt was though when I ordered it. They didn't tell me the size was like a pound. That's crazy. I got some marinara sauce, some of these grilled chicken breast strips for salads. I have the salad mix, <laughs> the spring mix, and some of these beef and bean burritos. Zuri has actually been eating those now. So to substitute the fact that now all three of us eat those, I got some of these steak and cheese and chicken and cheese chimichangas for me and Gio to try. I know she probably won't try those, but she'll eat the beef and bean burritos, so that's a quick lunch. And I have some of these mashed potatoes, so that will be for when we have the Mississippi pot roast. Hold on, my love. I got two of these breakfast pizzas since they're back. I got the sausage and cheese, and then the bacon, pepper, and onion pizza. So we'll try both of those. When they had them last year in Aldi, they were out by the time I got there, so we never got to try them. So I was like super excited that they had both flavors this time. So we'll definitely be trying that. Um, I got some decaf coffee because I've been really craving coffee lately, and I can't have the caffeine, so I just grabbed the decaf. And I got some creamer for it. Um, we were out of ketchup, so I grabbed that. This I found... This is a sausage breakfast skillet, so you just heat it up and add eggs. I thought that would be great for like a quick breakfast one of these days. Yes. I got some mozzarella cheese, some sour cream, two things of butter, the spreadable and the sticks. Um, some applesauce, some Aldi brand cinnamon toast crunch. Over here we have milk and strawberry kiwi juice, some apple juice some tomato soup mix, <clears throat> some ground turkey. I don't remember what I got this for, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to need it at some point regardless. <laughs> um, some shredded Mexican cheese for tacos and nachos. I got some of these country style beef ribs, so that'll be for next Sunday's dinner. And then a chuck roast for this Sunday for Mississippi pot roast. So this is everything from Aldi. Other than the fact that we also got two cases of water. Um, but I do have to run out. Sorry guys, I'm like so out of breath. <sighs> this baby is just sitting all on my lungage. And <laughs> my diaphragm and everything. So, um, I do have to run out and get a couple of things today. Because they were out of pepperoncinis, which we obviously need for tomorrow's dinner. And I did order some dried cranberries because I've been loving that on my salads for whatever reason. Um, they also were out of frosting for the cake mix, so I need to grab that. And then there's a couple of other things. So we're going to get this put away. We're going to run out to the store, and then I'll just do like a mini show you what we got type thing. All right, y'all, so this is just the fill-in for what was missing, plus we found a couple of other really good things while we were at the store. Um, so starting here, we got a bread replacement with no flour or mold or whatever that was, thank God. I got two of these fruit punches. They were on sale for two for five. Um, the kids decided they wanted chocolate milk, so we grabbed one of those. I found this silk oat creamer. It's an oatmeal cookie flavor, so I wanted to try that. That sounds really good. We got... 20 Yo Play yogurts in various flavors. So I have some. The kids picked like whatever weird flavors these are. I don't know. But they were um, 20 for $10. So 50 cents a piece. So we just grabbed 10 of them. Um, got some bananas. I got my dried cranberries for my salads. But the good thing is this one has half the sugar. I got some salsa, which was missing, some pepperoncinis, which was missing, and then some frosting for the cake because they were out of cake at, I mean, out of um, frosting at Aldi's. So yeah, this is just our small little fill-in. All right, y'all, so I hope we enjoyed that. And um, if you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.